Friends, today we celebrate the feast of Saint Agnes, who was martyred when she was only 12 or, or 13. Why was a child of this age martyred? How could she have accomplished enough in these few years? Growing up in a wealthy Christian home in ancient Rome in the third century, she had promised God she would never marry, saying, Jesus is my only spouse. Perhaps like the un unclean spirits in, in the gospel passage, who recognized Jesus and surrendered at his feet, Agnes, at a young age, had realized Jesus is the Son of God, who has power and authority over earthly desires. Many lurid legends circulated uh, regarding the details of the tortures and temptations Agnes subjected. According to one legend, her difficulties began when she refused to marry the son of a Roman prefect who tried to force her to abandon her faith and become his wife. Agnes' response to this and any other attempts was, I would offend my spouse if I were to please you. He chose me first, and he shall have me. Consequently, she was beheaded by order of the Emperor Diocletian. Saint Agnes was one of the most celebrated martyrs in the Middle Ages because she had committed to do Lord's will, or uh, in, the, in the words of the psalmist, doing God's will was her delight, as we heard in the psalm, uh, psalmist say in today's response aerial psalm. She believed her Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light. St. Agnes is usually depicted in art accompanied by a lamp since her name Agnes sounds like the Latin word for lamp, anus, as in anus Dei, lamp of God. But it comes from the Greek, Greek word hagnos, meaning chaste, pure, holy, sacred, Virtues which apply to her and each of us to imitate. Saint Agnes was faithful in a time of trouble. The only thing that mattered to her was God's will. You and I to have troubles in our lives. We may not be forced to deny our Lord, but we do get into situations with others and fail to act in love. Then resentments may grow and poison our relationship with God and each other. Agnes teaches us that it is not the quantity of the years of our life, but the quality of our life and death that matters. How are we living our Christian lives? Do we delight in doing God's will.